In this video, we're going to discuss a tool that you can use to get an understanding of what's going on with your surfaces and with certain entities inside of your civil 3D drawing, but not have to create a full blown profile view window and cut a surface cross section and import all of this information. There is a, a simpler method to creating a profile and it's called the quick profile tool. So in order to create a profile using the quick profile tool, what you need to do is you need to navigate up to the profile dropdown, and then you're going to navigate to quick profile. And so once you do quick profile, Civil 3D is going to ask you for a selection of an object, or you can navigate to an option of providing points. So if you wanted to provide a quick profile on an alignment or a, you can do it with a, a parcel boundary or um, a polyline or anything like that, I'm going to go ahead and do it with points, so I'm going to hit P. But what you do is Civil 3D is going to create a profile view window for you based on that object that you select or the points that you place down. So I, say I wanted to know what the cross section of my surface was from this point here all the way across to this point here. If I select those points, Civil 3D is going to ask me to specify the next point so I can continue on like I'm creating a polyline, but I'm just going to go ahead and hit enter to end. What Civil 3D asks me is it says, what surfaces do you want to display in this profile view window? I'm going to go ahead and just display my existing ground topo. Uh, and then I choose my profile view style and then I click OK. Civil 3D asks me to view, specify my view origin. So I'm going to place my view origin. And what I have going on here now is that I have a warning for Civil 3D that says a quick profile was created. This is a temporary object and it will be deleted on a save command or from exiting the drawing. So if I was to um, try to build a design profile off of this profile, this profile is going away as soon as I save the drawing or I close the drawing. This is not a permanent object. It doesn't end up in my prospector tab. So if I was to go try and find an alignment and then go into my profiles or my profile views, this profile view isn't gonna show up over anywhere over here because this is just a quick tool for me to find out what is going on uh, in my surface, if there was something strange going on, or if I wanted to see multiple design elements interacting with each other, I could cut a cross section up through here um, and get a, a an idea of how my grading entity here is interacting with my EG surface, which is interacting with my my retention pond. So I'll actually go ahead and do that just so that you guys can see what's going on here. So I'm going to go ahead and create another quick profile. Uh, and I'm going to go by points. So I'm going to hit P for points. And then I'm going to pick a point uh, up here. And then I'm going to go ahead and drag down through my basin. And I'm going to select a point down below. And then I'm going to hit enter. And then I will select all three of my services that are available, my basin, EG, and my proposed, or my properties two and three grading. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Uh, and then I'm going to specify the origin. And what you can see happening in here, we got the warning again that this is a temporary object. Uh, but what we can see going on here is we can see how our grading group for the properties is, how our existing ground surface looks like, and then what our retention pond looks like. What's important to note is that, again, these are temporary. So do not base any design elements off of them. If you want to create a design element, you have to create an actual profile view window and cut an actual cross section. 